friend of mine has a uh, motorcycle that he's been modifying and his handlebars have momentary switches on them and he wants to use uh, one momentary switch to activate his left turn signals uh, another momentary switch to operate his right turn signals of course the whole time you have to hold it down when you let go they shut off uh, so I'm going to show you basically how uh, a flashing system works on a motorcycle uh, of course, I don't have any momentary switches with me, so I just kind of crudely made my own out of wood. Um, I've got uh, two pieces of wood here, and I'm just going to push down, and it will make contact. You let go, you go to the right-hand side, you push down, you let go. Uh, it works. So, on a motorcycle, we have our 12-volt power supply. I have a very cheap flasher unit that I bought at a uh, local hardware store here. It is uh, very simple. It's got two pins on it. Um, uh, power goes in, power comes out. Once you reach, uh, once you get some uh, current flow, it opens and closes the switch inside. Now, uh, I've also hooked up two little 12 volt light bulbs. Um, of course, on a motorcycle, you're going to have light bulbs at the front and at the back. So you're going to draw twice as much current. This flasher unit will work better when it has higher current. So right now, it will flash a little slow, but it'll still flash. And I've got various amounts of wire that we're going to use. Red, of course, being power. Black being ground. We'll use yellow and green for the left and right side of the lights. So, first thing we have to do is we have to take our positive side we need to go from our positive side of our battery to one side and it doesn't matter which one of our flasher unit All right. then we take the power out of the flasher unit and we are going to go I put a piece of metal tape on the bottom so I'm just going to clamp this to one side of that metal tape and that will make this whole tape 12 volts so that's my 12 volt uh, bus line okay so we have power going through our little flasher unit and directly into this line I am going to take I'll, I'll make green the left and uh, yellow the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an alligator clip, the green one, on the left hand switch. So now the alligator clip will make contact with the metal tape at the bottom, making electricity go through. And I will put it to one lead of the left hand light bulb. Okay we will make yellow our right hand side so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to touch my yellow lead to the second switch and I am going to hook the positive side to the right hand light so we now have positive power going through through the flasher unit which will turn off and on going out and to my bus line from there depending on which switch we press power will go through and to the corresponding light bulb now we need a ground path from the light bulbs so I'm just going to hook both light bulbs to ground and I will plug it in the ground of the battery. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Very simple, power goes through the flasher unit to the bus line and depending on which switch you press down will make the light flash. I am not letting go of the switch, I'm just holding it down. When I let go of it, I can go over to the other switch, push it down, and the other light will flash. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.